Nigel Farage has blasted the appalling abuse of power by Democrats to engineer the arrest of Donald Trump. Nigel Farage has joined allies of Donald Trump in warning that his push for the presidency will only gain strength from the decision to indict him on Thursday. It comes as former President Trump called the indictment a witch hunt and election interference as a grand jury in Manhattan investigated an alleged hush money payment he made to porn star Stormy Daniels. The indictment follows a number of Democrat attempts to arrest President Trump on felony charges. Infamously, this included a raid on his Mar-a-Lago, Florida home by FBI agents claiming that he had taken confidential White House papers to the resort. Speaking about the indictment on Thursday night, Mr. Farage, a close friend of the 45th U.S. president, agreed it was a witch hunt. The former Brexit party and UKIP leader told Express, this is an appalling abuse of power. Trump will gain strength from this. Polling suggests that Mr. Farage is correct. According to a poll for Fox News, Mr. Trump is backed by 54% of Republicans ahead of the 2024 presidential election. His closest rival is Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, who trails a massive 30 points behind on 24% of the party vote. Mr. Trump has been on a tour of U.S. states with his newly refurbished campaign plane, whipping up support for a third run at the White House. He and his Make America Great Again, MAGA, supporters believe that the election was stolen from him in 2020 to get Joe Biden into the White House. Since then, they believe there has been an attempt to legally stitch up the former president and prevent a return to office in 2024. Mr. Trump's senior aide Jason Miller, the founder of the GETTR social media platform, also questioned the legitimacy of the indictment. He posted, Every American will remember where they were when they heard the news that Democrats did the unthinkable, charging a political opponent, the leading Republican for president, in an attempt to stop him from returning to the White House.